We have a, as it stands today, a 50 million ounce resource at the Tehaman deposit that has had a economic assessment completed on it, which gives you an indication of what the production scenario will look like. It's not at the feasibility level. That'll be our next stage with that asset. But it is more advanced than the pure exploration stage. We believe that deposit is larger and has expansion potential, so we will be exploring that deposit, the southern edges of it, and a high-grade zone that has potential for many more ounces beneath the system as we currently understand it. Also, within our other projects in the portfolio, there are exploration opportunities for both silver and gold. We have had an interesting gold discovery on a project called San Lucas that was originally believed to be solely silver. There's uh, the northern end of it has a what appears to be over two kilometers of strike length of a form of a gold deposit. We've done some sampling and got some very interesting results. We're about to start drilling there, so it'll be a very active campaign over the next month and several months. I think we've got a bit of attention in the market from that news. We've also had some fairly significant investors come into our company as shareholders recently. A few things going on that will lead us to a very active period over the coming, uh, coming several months. Next steps are to continue developing the resources that we have, continue working very hard to bring the Tehama deposit to feasibility and then into production. We've been very active at the community level, building support in Tehama, and we expect that we'll be in a position to uh, continue that work further in a very short period of time. We're focused on highlighting for the market our gold portfolio. We don't think it's well understood. We don't think it's being valued by the market today. So we're looking at strategies to maybe unlock the value for the benefit of our shareholders. Long term, we uh, will be continuing to develop the value of the projects that we have. We're continually looking for projects to add to our portfolio that we think are prospective that have the ability to be put into production quite quickly. We've been pretty fortunate in terms of having excellent support from the Canadian Embassy in Mexico. And they have formed with the mining ministry something called the Canadian Mexican Chamber of Commerce. It has a specific mining division to it. We met with the governor elect uh, a few days ago, who is coming in and looking for ways to jumpstart the economy within, within the state. And the obvious first place to look, I think, is, is the mining industry. He's looking for a better understanding of which mining projects have the capability to provide employment opportunities on a large scale within the state. There's an old saying that the best place to find a mine is beside an old mine. Today with technology, it's opened up new opportunities for exploration as well. You may have an existing mine that was believed to have been mined out some years ago or believed to have, have exhausted its potential. Today with technology and exploration techniques, you can explore deeper into the earth and, and in ways that didn't exist even 10, 20 years ago. These are your, your neighbors, your allies, your best protection against virtually any situation. So you want to treat these people as, as your neighbors because they're your partners. You're working in their backyard and you need to understand that and, and respect that. And it's beyond providing a paycheck or, or unemployment opportunity. That's part of it, certainly. But you have an obligation to, uh, to behave a certain way and to provide certain benefits beyond the, the job to preserve certain elements within the community, to protect it, to manage the environment in, in which you work. And I think, you know, the community understands very quickly or can understand very quickly whether your goals are aligned, whether you'll be operating as a partnership or whether you're just really interested in maximizing your opportunity without any regard for them.